Welcome to Altium Designer On Demand Essentials. This module will cover schematic preferences and their effect on the schematics. Opening up the preferences using the gear icon, selecting the schematic folder, let's start with the general category. As with most of the tool features in Altium, getting additional help and access to online documentation is as easy as using the F1 key while focusing on the window or feature of interest. Let's try this on the General Schematic Preferences window. Hitting the F1 key opens up the corresponding Altium TechStock online technical document web page. Here we see detailed descriptions for options on this preference page. Going back to the tool, under the General Selection, a number of different selections can be made. We should highlight a few that are important or useful at this point. The first being the setting for the schematic units, either English or metric. We see most schematics using English, while PCBs are increasingly going metric. Your company preferences will drive what you select here, but keep in mind the units used for the schematic and their library symbols should be consistent. We see that many of these options are checked by default. There are a few that we should ensure are checked. The first is the Components Cut Wires option. Without it, placing a resistor on an existing wire shorts out the resistor, like so. With it enabled, the resistor gets inserted cutting the wire. This creates two subnets on either side of the resistor and can be a real time saver when needing to add termination resistors. The last preference option in this category we'll look at is display crossovers. Clicking on the display crossover and then hitting the apply key button has an immediate effect on the schematics as you can see. Notice how the wires that are not connected but do cross are now affected by this option with it enabled, an arc is added over the non-connected wires, as you can see. The Convert Cross Junctions option gives you control over the graphical representation of wires when they are being added. With Convert Cross Junction set, when you add a wire that would form a four-way connection, the tool creates two adjacent three-way connections as such. If this option is unchecked, adding a wire forms a simple four-way connection. Altium provides these two features to accommodate for various company schematic drawing standards. Depending on your preferences or company standards, you may want to modify the template and or the sheet size settings for new schematics. These are used every time a new schematic is added to a project. Selecting a template grays out the sheet size option as the template would normally have a size associated with it. If your company has a custom schematic template, it should be selected to enable it for all new schematics. Notice there are a number of schematic templates that come with the install. They are all located in the install directory for the tools under the templates folder. Setting the default sheet size is done using the pull down menu as you can see. Looking now at the graphical editing category, there are a number of boxes checked. I would suggest these as a starting point, modifying them as needed to suit your preferences. One helpful group is the auto pan settings. Here you can change the auto pan style, the speed and step, and the shift step sizes to suit your preferences. I like the settings shown, but if I've had a long week, I sometimes decrease the panning speed so I can keep up with the tool. Under the graphical editing options group, the single backslash negation setting provides a simple means to place the negation bar over net labels. Checking that allows for net names with a leading backslash to have an overbar indicating negative true. The classic example would be for reset, just shown here. Note, the other net label below only has the first three letters with an overbar, and this was not affected by the preferences option. Selecting the top reset net label, we see the single backslash that causes the overbar. The other reset net label, with only three letters with an overbar, let's select that and see how we do it. If instead of a single leading backslash, we employ multiple backslashes after each letter that we would like to have an overbar, we can get that effect. Please feel free to experiment with this. By the way, the defaults category is where the settings for the various primitives can be set or modified as needed. Again, note the primitives unit setting. It is recommended that it match the schematic unit setting. Selecting the arc and looking at its property section, we can modify this primitive settings, including the color, the line width, radius, and so on. This is just another way for Altium to provide customization and flexibility in the behavior of the tools and to enable efficiency.
This module, we covered schematic preferences showing the effect that they have on the appearance of the schematics. In the next module, we will explore design and schematic navigation. Please do exercise setting schematic preferences.